I'm Paul Bennett, Managing Director of Relogen. Today I want to take you on a quick tour of Asset DNA, Relogen's advanced asset intelligence tool. Asset DNA is a fully integrated system which includes software, tags on assets, hardware devices, mobile apps for field data collection, and translators for exchanging data with corporate systems. Asset DNA enables better decisions by improving information in these systems. It bridges the gap the gap between what your systems are telling you and what's going on out there in the field. Today we'll be working with the Windows version, but it can also be deployed in the cloud, on or off premises, or as a hybrid of the two. So let's move on and let's have a look at Asset DNA. When you open Asset DNA, you'll see the screen is divided into three sections, which work together to provide a single point of truth for any asset. On the left we have the asset register and structure. Today's demonstration is a generic mining company, but with our system an asset can be anything that's important to your business. In fact we have a diverse client base using asset DNA to manage things like property leaseholds, weapons, PPE, plant and equipment, production output and even operational risks. The system presents assets in a tree view, not only because it makes data easier to find, but because it's a powerful way to manage relationships between assets and components. The hierarchy is user-defined, so you can break your assets down to whatever level works best for your business. For example, some businesses might manage assets at a macro level, so they might set up Gas Turbine A as a single entity. Others may prefer to break Gas Turbine A into systems or individual parts so they can better manage rotatable components. You can also use the tabs on the left-hand side to view the structure in different ways. At the moment, we're looking at an enterprise-wide view. But from there, we can move to other views that are critical for operational decision-making. For example, if I need to know the whereabouts of something, I can quickly locate it. If I'm an issuance person, I can see who has it. If I'm a maintenance person, I can see when servicing is due. One of Asset DNA's unique features is the DNA that's assigned to each asset on setup. This is a globally unique identifier that differentiates each individual asset and gives full item level visibility as they move through workflows, servicing, part rotations, supply chains and more. We can then pass this DNA on to operational assets using barcode or RFID tagging systems and collect in-field data using mobile applications. Another great feature is the way Asset DNA easily manages asset lifecycle states, such as conception, operation, or end of life. These are defined by the colors of the icon. In the center of the screen, we have the main display where information about the assets in our register is created, stored, and updated. Asset DNA calls these attributes. These fields, too, are user-defined. You can record things like serial numbers, locations and custodians. You can also store video files and images, links to websites and documents such as manuals, warranties, certificates and more. You can even update Microsoft Office documents within Asset DNA with full rollback functionality. Asset DNA can also replicate data from other systems in the main display for a full 360 degree view. So, the way the navigation works is when you focus on an item in the tree view, the information that relates to it will show in the main display, providing you with a complete asset profile and a single point of truth. And the asset's unique DNA means that all these attributes will remain associated from cradle through recycle to grave. Then, once all your asset information is in a central location, you can start to proactively manage these items by using database triggers, email alerts, report tools and more. Asset DNA also enables you to create filtered views so that only certain attributes will show in the main display. This is done in the business view at the top of the screen. These filtered views are user-defined, so it's easy to set them up to mirror your operations 
such as manufacturing, maintenance, safety or finance. However, centralising all your data into a single repository is only one piece of the puzzle. For true asset intelligence, you need a system which integrates real-time insights from the field. Asset DNA has been built to take inputs from devices such as PDAs, tablets, SCADA systems, fixed RFID readers and more. So you can integrate real-time operational insights and directly link them to your assets. The next video in our series will show you some of Asset DNA's easy to use mobile data capture apps, which work with a wide range of asset tagging technologies. For more information, please visit assetdna.com and thanks for watching this presentation. Thank you.